Greetings. I was in the market to get a new camera for my YouTube channel because I've been using this cheap SJ Cam, SJ6 camera for, well, almost two years, well over a year and a half. And while this is fine for vlogging because it does have the microphone I can attach to my shirt, it doesn't have any focusing abilities. It doesn't have any zoom abilities. The colors are really bad. It's just a cheap camera and it was time for me to up my game. Now I'm currently recording on a Canon Handycam that a friend of mine, if you know Stan, he gave this camera to me. The picture quality even at 1080p is pretty poor and it only does 30 frames a second. I like to record in 60 frames so I can do slow-mos. Seeing that I wanted to bring my channel up to the next level, I knew that I needed, first of all, better audio, which I solved with this new wireless system, and better video, which I solved with the brand new Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. Now that was just the box. The actual camera is right here. Now I'm not gonna go over every feature this camera has because uh, many other channels have covered that and you can look up the specifications yourself. The main thing is, it, is that this camera was designed for vlogging. So it has a microphone input, it has stabilization built into the camera, and it has what I consider an okay autofocus system. That, that is the weakest part of this camera is its autofocus. But the audio is good. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a built-in ND filter, which is really great for video. And you can record 1080p up to 30 minutes before the camera restarts the file system. Now, the real reason I got this camera over another camera was because this has a really great low light lens. It's an f1.8 at the widest angle, which is pretty much what I use it almost all the time for. And it's a small camera. It, it does have a little bit of weight to it, but it's, it feels durable. It's got a really nice rubberized case. And it does have a zoom on it. The zoom's not very far, but I don't really need it to be very far. Now this does have an 8.8 .8 to 36.8 millimeter lens. And the equivalent to that on the wide end is uh, in the low 20 millimeter range. So it's perfect for having it about this far from your face and still being able to vlog. That's why it's a vlogging camera. Now I do have this badass Nikon D750 with a 20 millimeter prime lens, this is a very expensive combination. Now I bought this for astrophotography and for landscaping. I never really planned to shoot videos with it because this camera sucks for video. Pretty much all DSLR cameras suck for video unless you are fine with manual focus and things like that. That's the major problem with this. This creates beautiful video and if you watch my outro for my channel, that was recorded with this. And I've recorded several product reviews. Anytime you see anything with a blurry background, it was done with this camera. But th there are major flaws with this camera. First of all, it doesn't have a fully re articulating screen. It only goes up to that. It's really useless for video. Secondly, it has no stabilization whatsoever in it. It'll make you vomit watching this if I don't have it on a tripod. Third, the autofocus is completely useless in video. It'll just hunt back and forth all day long. It will make all kinds of motorized noises and stuff which get picked up inside the camera. Completely useless. And last but not least, it only shoots 20 minute videos. And that might not be a problem for some, but if you're doing product reviews, or I use this to do my electric bike build, I can't tell you how many times it shut off and it didn't say or anything, didn't beep or anything. It just, it just stops after 20 minutes. I had to retake several shots because this thing just shut off on me. So this was not really the answer for upping my game vlogging. It's just too hard to use. Now there are several mirrorless cameras on the market that I did look at. There's the Canon M50, which has excellent dual pixel autofocus, but absolutely horrible stabilization. I could never use that uh, unless it was on a tripod. And the kit lens it comes with is really slow. It's an f3.5 at the widest angle. And I didn't want to have to spend three or four hundred dollars for an additional lens on top of a seven hundred dollar camera. The other option was the Panasonic G85 and that camera is gorgeous. It does really excellent video. It has some of the best stabilization on the market but the autofocus system is unusable. It just it's always out of focus. It's always hunting. Every video I saw with the G85 had focus problems. I didn't want to deal with that. Then again, everybody complains that this camera has the same problem with the autofocus. 
it is not a great autofocus, but it is usable for vlogging and it is usable for my primary use is product reviews and things of that nature. Well, I'll have it on a tripod and I want it to autofocus if I do something like this. I also wanted something light and small that I can put this on a little handheld tripod and with a bracket, I can hook an external microphone to this. In fact, this wireless system is what I use on this camera I'm using a bracket and it works just fine for me. Now the downside is this is a point and shoot for 750 bucks. There's no rebates, there's no discounts. This thing just came out two weeks ago. And I've had it for just over a week. I've done a couple videos on it already. If you watch my video for the Asako dash cam that was done exclusively on this, another very unique feature of this camera is it has built in YouTube live streaming. Now I've already tested this out offline. I did a private live stream just to see if it worked and it did. But the real problem with this is the battery life. I only get about 45 minutes tops on one battery and batteries for this are 40 bucks. So you gotta buy a couple extra batteries for this. Now I did order a, a USB cable that was supposed to power this thing or charge the batteries while I use it, but it was the wrong cable. So what I ended up doing was buying a dummy battery that replaces the battery that goes in the bottom of the camera and that actually goes to a USB so I can power it from a Jackery or another power supply. And then that way I have unlimited use of this camera so I could do nice long live streams. What's awesome about live streaming from this is that you can use an external microphone, you have autofocus, you can change the aperture, you got the ND filter, it's all this stuff for doing low light video and bright light video with excellent audio. And the video in this thing is incredible. It's very clear, the colors are great. So far, I'm very impressed with it. Is it worth 750 bucks? Well, I don't know about that. That's your call. So let's get off this crappy handy cam and show you what it looks like and sounds like from this camera. Now, if you wanna know what my rig looks like with the wireless system installed, this is what it looks like. It's a little unwieldy, but it's not too bad. Okay, here we are on the Canon G7X Mark III, and I am walking in very rocky terrain. I have the camera at its widest zoom, f1.8, 1 125th of a second, and that's about right, because I like to shoot in 60 frames per second. I'm not one of those 24p guys, so I don't really care that it's not included in this camera. I think 24p is too choppy for vlogs. So here I am walking around. Like I said, look at the ground. That ground is crazy uneven. So the autofocus box is on my face. I think I'm in focus, at least it looks like I am. The image stabilization is on maximum. Now this is in body and lens stabilization on maximum. So there is a little bit of a crop but it's not too bad. Like I said, this is regular arm's length and I'm giving you an idea what the stabilization is like by walking. You can see in the background what's going on. I'll put some trees here in the foreground so you can get an idea as to how shaky it is. Now, I think this is way better than any other camera that I own when it comes to stabilization on maximum. So when I'm walking around and vlogging, this is totally acceptable. And I do have the ND filter on right now because as you can see, the sun's in my face and the exposure looks perfect to me. It looks really good. I'll let you judge for yourself. And you can see as I walk into the shadows, the camera does adjust the exposure. So this gives you an idea what the colors look like. And here I am in direct sunlight and I'll go ahead and turn around and put my sun to behind me so you can see what it looks like. This gives you an idea of the quality of the camera. Now this camera is light enough that I could have no problem really holding this for long periods of time. I just switch arms. It's probably about the weight of a small mirrorless camera with the lens. But if I take off my wireless monitor, it's much lighter. So let's go ahead and do that so you can hear what the onboard audio sounds like. And I think I just lost focus because I don't see the box on my face. There it goes. This is what I mean by autofocus problems. If it loses your face, you'll lose the focus. Sometimes you have to actually touch the screen to get it to focus on you. Or you can hit the shutter button, and sometimes I do that, and it will force it to focus. And I can also tell it to, to focus in the background. See that solar panel? I touch the screen, and you can see the solar panel's in focus. It's not the fastest but it's not the slowest either. I'll go ahead and put it back on my face. 
See, it takes a couple of seconds, but I don't think that's gonna bother anybody. You, you tell me, let me know in the comments below what you think of the performance of this camera. Now this is the factory firmware. I didn't see a firmware update for it yet. I'm hoping that in the future they'll have a firmware update that will speed up the autofocus. I guess we'll see. Let's switch over to the built-in audio and see what it sounds like. So we're using the built-in audio now and I reduced the image stabilization to normal. So it's still enabled, but it's on the normal or standard setting. You can see I'm zoomed out a little bit more. This is probably the default that I would use if I wasn't gonna be walking around, because I'm gonna walk around again real quick and we'll see how bad uh, the shakiness is. As somebody who's been vlogging for a living or at least doing YouTube for a living for the last two plus years, I've gotten pretty good at holding my hands as steady as possible and not zooming or panning the camera too fast to make people sick. So I have a feeling that if you like this the way it is, this stabilization with this crop factor, then it'll probably work for just about anybody on YouTube because this is, like I said, a vlogger's camera and its primary purpose is doing what I'm doing right now. Walking and talking. So a lot of people walk and talk or they might stand in one place. And let's go ahead again and do a zoom or let's do a focus on the van. Okay, so there we go. Now you wanna watch the zoom while you're recording. It's pretty slow, but it gives you a nice, and that's maximum zoom. Like I said, it's not an incredible zoom. And yes, there's a little bit of wind right now. I do not have a wind muff on this. Okay, now this focus is back on my face. There we go. And again, this is at f1.8, maximum zoom out. This is the built-in audio. Now, say you don't wanna use a wireless system with one of these things on your collar, and you'd rather not use the built-in audio, because why would you buy this camera if you weren't gonna use the external audio jack. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my external microphone. It's one I've never used before. I've had it for a while. I thought it was gonna fit my other camera and it didn't. But it seems to be perfect for this one. So let me show you what it looks like. We'll stick it on and we'll see what the audio sounds like. Okay, here is the external microphone I'm about to clip on. It's stereo and I put a wind muff or dead cat on each microphone. Let's plug it in now and see what happens. Okay, I don't know how much different it's gonna sound. I didn't change the on-camera audio levels or anything. It looks like it's okay. Now you're listening to the stereo external microphone with the dead cats. And the wind is blowing right now. I don't really see it registering. So the dead cats seem to be working. So this is probably what most people will do with this camera. They'll put a little external microphone on it, or maybe a Rode Micro Pro or a small shotgun mic and vlog with it this way. So you tell me if this sounds good, if this looks good, if the stabilization works. Now I could shut the stabilization off and walk around, but I don't see what the point of that is because it'll just make everybody sick. <laughs> Yeah, it does lose. I noticed that when I'm in the bright sunlight and the sun's washing out my face, it does lose the box on my face. This is with the ND filter on. And I could, if I wanted to, close the aperture ring and make it look normal. So now my background's no longer blurry, but the colors and exposure look a lot better. So as you can see, the ND filter works, but it doesn't work if you're getting blasted in the face by the sun. So hopefully this information has helped you out and made you decide if you wanna get one of these cameras or not. I just did this review to do the review because I figured if I'm gonna buy a new piece of camera gear and people notice my video quality is improved, they're gonna ask me about it. So I just headed it off by doing a video on it. I do have a link to this camera in the description below. If you wanna check it out and buy one on Amazon, that would be cool. I would get a small commission from each one. So thanks in advance. And if you learned something from this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe.
and clean my litter box. Hey, Odin. How many Fs do you give about the Canon G7X Mark III? That's what I thought. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Rando Fear 9, Army Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro, Pat.